Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to InRange. I'm Ian, of course. I'm here today with Quinn from Brother in Arms out here in lovely Arizona. And uh, Quinn's working on building, as you might tell, HK-like guns. All right, Quinn, so you brought this out at the range the other day and you brought it out of the pack and I go, oh, an MP5, because I knew you were working on those and doing really nice work with those. And if you look at the welds alone, that's one indication of that it's not a German gun, right? No, I mean, <laughs> seriously. But so, but when you took it out and you no, 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 look at it closer. And then we noticed it takes AR-15 magazines in eight Kurtz, I mean, 300 blackout, <laughs> right? So this is what crossed my mind. This is an interesting thing going on here because this is the first one coming to market that I'm aware of already selling, right? right. So th what's going on here is you have an intermediate cartridge, really the world's first intermediate cartridge. I mean, let me, I'm going to get to that in a minute, <laughs> being put into a submachine gun platform. So is this an assault rifle? Is it a submachine gun? Is it a PDW? I don't know. What, when I saw this, immediately I, I went, wow, we got to need to do a video on this because it blurs all those lines. What do you think? And that's it. Very controllable. Obviously quiet enough without ears. Easy mag release. Uh, this really is where this gun needed to go. This is this is 2015 and a couple of more changes in here that Quinn's talking about. And this is, uh, I can't see how this is in the future, some of this kind of stuff.